Okay, um, can I sing an old folk song? Is that okay? Anything, go for okay, it. Okay, okay, great. Um, so it's going to be in Jawa. In Jawa. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Billy Makwe, Billy Makwe, Masoa Guaduba Ninji Adiwa to Malilo, Samasege, Oana Inu Guaila, Bim 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 Adi Billy Makwe, Billy Makwe, Masoa Guaduba Ninji Inu Guatu Malilo, Samasege, Oana Tu Inu Guaila, Bim 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 yeah. So my name is Blessing Siabo. I work as Director and Chief Executive Officer for MHub. Uh, MHub uh, prides itself in being the world's first technology and innovation hub. We were established in October 2014 uh, and we uh, implement programs uh, with respect to four main pillars of entrepreneurship, development, technology and innovation. Uh, as MHub, we do uh, collaborate with other like-minded organizations and implement projects on behalf of various development partners with a focus on uh, empowering youth with uh, entrepreneurship and digital skills, uh, as well as uh, supporting the leading the development of technologies that impact uh, various communities in, uh, in Malawi. Uh, over the years that uh, we've been in operation, we've uh, impacted over 5,000 youth with digital entrepreneurship skills. We've uh, incubated uh, over 100 startups uh, across various sectors, ranging from agriculture, health, education, architecture, among others. Uh, we've um, also been able to uh, pioneer the development of various technologies uh, that have gone a long way in uh, supporting uh, efficiency in terms of uh, uh, the engagement between ordinary citizens in sectors like health, uh, governance and democracy, as well as education uh, among others. I was first in Malawi um, was first in September in 2020. It started in August where the project's aim is to actually help uh, disseminate information online that are factual. This came about due to the elections that we had in 2020, the re-elections for presidential elections to be exact, where there was so many false information that was coming out at that time. So we came up with the concept where we bring in, uh, where they can have creative freedom within our space and be able to create content that is actually factual uh, to be distributed online. Um, in 2020, we actually produced eight episodes. Uh, these episodes were in the themes of COVID-19, where it was at the peak at that time. And then we had uh, two silence uh, uh, pledges, because during the time it was campaign season, they had pledges that, that they promised uh, Malawians. So that's some of the things that we were actually tracking. And on xenophobic attacks on refugees at that time, it was at, at the peak. So those are the themes that uh, we are actually looking at during, during that time. Hello, Fact Checker lovers, to yet another episode of Fact Checker. But today, we're doing things a little differently. So, recently, there have been a lot of things that have been going on. As a follower of Fact Checker, it is always important to stay up to date with current events. So, I think what we usually do is uh, we have brainstorming sessions uh, as the first point. So, we actually look at uh, the things that are going on uh, in the country uh, because uh, there are several things that, themes that we are working around. And so, look at what is happening uh, throughout the week, what people are talking about a lot online. So, like to uh, uh, scroll through uh, social media pages just to find out what people are talking about and then we have brainstorming sessions on uh, different groups that exist and from these sessions is where we pick actually um, the topics that we think we can cover so it's usually a collaborative process where you have a team that just like looks out for what's trending what people are saying uh, are there any misconceptions and what are, what are the facts and then we have a team of the production, the production crew, the ones that actually put together the skits, they do the videograph and the post-production. And then when they do that, they share back with the bloggers uh, to help work with the, uh, whether there's need for subtitles and all that. We learned a lot from the first season. Um, there was in terms of production, in terms of um, how our shots can be like, because in the first season you find that our episodes would have like 15 minutes of time and it was actually hard for us to post that on Facebook. Um, but for the second season we were able to actually shoot the relevant um, content that we were looking for 
and we be able to compress it and post it online and those are like for six minutes max. Um, we actually didn't expect that Fact Checker would have so much of an impact. I think the largest um, impact that uh, Fact Checker has made is actually getting people to care about certain things. You know, sometimes people realize they didn't actually care about an issue until we bring it up. You know, even if something is trending on social media, for example, say if you want to fact check something that was um, a press statement, for, for example, or uh, that, that was put out by the government, or we want to fact check a speech that was made by the president, when we highlight certain things, people go, oh, so that's actually a thing, which is very important. Um, recently, we did a, we did a webinar on um, breaking the gender bias in the creative industry and we had an all-star panel of amazing female artists from different sectors of the creative industry. It's not something that happens very often. It might actually be the first time that has happened in years. Um, we did this as, as Fact Checker Malawi and people started asking questions now about the reality of what's happening in the industry. So that's the most important thing. Um, fact Checker doesn't just provide facts but it also raises questions which is almost just as important as getting the answers. Now, here's the question. If the people that are supposed to protect us as individuals, as a community, as a country, are on the forefront inflicting pain on people, where do we turn to in such times? We've grown over the years from a team of three, and right now we have a team of 16, uh, with uh, individuals working and leading on uh, various projects as project officers and program managers. Uh, we have a finance team, we have a monitor, a evaluation and learning team, just as we also have uh, individuals that uh, take lead of the organization as, uh, as management. Um, I'm Elizabeth Pili. I've been working with MHUB for five years. Uh, so from the beginning, um, uh, since 2014, uh, MHUB has managing grants from different uh, donors. Um, managing grants from seventy thousand um, dollars up to twenty twenty one, managing grants up to uh, six hundred thousand uh, dollars. MHub has put in place a lot of structures compared to the beginning of the organization. Um, at first, MHub had a few policy company uh, manuals. Um, as of now, we have. Um, a uh, lot of uh, company policy manuals in place, including the subaward manual, uh, the uh, fraud policy manual, the financial manual, uh, the procurement manuals. Uh, because of these structures of put in place, MHUB is able to um, manage grants and uh, sub grant. MHUB does a lot of um, activities just to generate revenue. Um, in the year 2022, our goal has been to um, increase the revenue generated by MHUB from 30% to 40% and we're going towards that. The most unique thing about MHUB, especially in Malawi, is that it's a tech space that is open to creatives and they're not really boxed in as to no STEM must be STEM and the projects must be exclusively for tech. MHUB really takes defining innovation and supporting innovation very very seriously like if you have a brilliant and bright idea they will support you working with them has been absolutely great not just um, as a part of fact checker but as an individual creative as an individual artist knowing that i can go to rachel um, sivandi for advice knowing that if i need a reference letter vincent can write me a reference letter you know give me support and as uh, um, give me support with how, with growing as as an artist so mhub has been great and we look forward to continuing working with them.